Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we give God the glory for today and for the gracious things that he has done for us. And even that we are still alive. His names are Stephen Kwesiga. And he'll glorify the Lord because I am in his place. I'm not alone, but I am with my brothers. Uh, Ronald Katete, the interpreter, and Raymond, the sign language interpreter. We believe that the Lord is going to use us for his holy name to be glorified. Uh, I also add on my voice on behalf of the men's conference that it's going to take place tomorrow. The Lord has prepared for us well. And we welcome all the men and to everyone who is sure that you are a man from 13 years of age. We request you that you come and attend because your package is in this place. The Lord is going to speak to us and we believe that our lives are not going to remain the same. We thank the pastoral team that is headed by our good pastor Joseph Serumaga for having thought about us as the men and he prepared for us this conference may the Lord bless you so much and also the organizers from the patron, the chairperson, and all others. I know that there is a lot of underground work taking place. But may the Lord bless you so much. And I also thank the Lord for the whole of this week. And on behalf of the ministers that have stood, they have been laying a foundation stone for the behalf of the conference. And I, as one, have been following and I have been much blessed. And may the Lord bless you so much. And I also pray and I believe that among the words that I'm going to speak by the grace of God, I will also be able to put a stone up about something that is going on. And we welcome all of you. Radio, the people who are listening over the radio. Media, the media, the people on the different social media platforms. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. And to the people that have come here physically, may God bless you so much. May God be blessed. Uh, our theme Weekend, that we have been moving on throughout this week it talks about restoration uh, the call to restoration and it is found in Hosea chapter 6 but before we go there uh, permit me to speak these few words according to the scriptures uh, Ecclesiastes that is chapter 5 there is something that he tells us that we need to put emphasis on because I have discovered that often times we come in the house of the Lord and it's like we have gone in other places whereby our attention is so much down. And sometimes we even leave the presence of God and it seems as if our lives have not been touched at all. And that is where what we call familiarity comes from. 
whereby someone says I was I attended but it is the usual ne, nothing happened ne, wo, but yet the Lord was present we, the Lord spoke with you and the Lord knows that he spoke to you and he knows very well that if you put in practice what he has told you your life ought to be at a supersonic speed in growth more than those that have not come in his presence. So, Ecclesiastes 5. Verse 7. Verse 7. Kuwanga tebamanyi ngabakola bubi Walk prudently when you go to the house of the Lord and run near to hear rather than to give the sacrifice of fools for they do not know that they do evil Praise be to God. According to scripture, Bible the Bible emphasizes Oh, let me term it as the most important work to a Christian. A person who has come in the house of the Lord. It is like the Lord is telling us that whenever you come, I do my part. But where the problem is, some people do not pay attention. Now, where he says that walk prudently, down here, he gives you the reason as to why you should be prudent. That is such that you can draw always to hear you cannot hear when your ears are not open and hearing means that someone is speaking to you and if you do not pay attention to hear yet I consider hearing as the most important ministry and to us born again it means that I will not get my instructions, I will not get my directives. And I will not understand them and neither will I do them. It means that I will have made a loss and I will not have benefited. I've spoken it because I felt it in my heart that I put emphasis on it. That even what we are going to speak, even perhaps the things we have heard before, let us always pay to attention to hear and listen to what our God is saying. Because behind listening, you find a blessing. Because he, he expects us that once we hear, we listen, obey, and put into practice. Because someone can hear something but refuses to put into practice. There is a, a certain category the Bible has termed as those ones who hear continuously but never come to the knowledge of the truth. So, so brethren, the Lord demands us that whenever we come into his house, we pay attention. So you will tell me that I am online and I am not in the house. Of the Lord. And I know that we are right there where you are. And what we are saying is that for you to put attention, to pay attention and apply your heart. If we just hear, I'm telling you the truth, our lives will be changed. Let us stop 
taking the things of God for granted. God cannot permit my ears to hear words from him without any reason. Even when I think that today they are not of benefit to me, how do you know that they will not benefit you tomorrow? So let us always apply our hearts to listen. And that's when sometimes you get a prayer Whereby the Holy Spirit will direct you in a certain way in which you should pray. Because whenever we come, the Holy Spirit is ready for us to tell us such something that we may put into practice. So I beseech you, in the Always to always pay attention. Not to take it as something usual or for granted. And to always put it in a way that when God has spoken to you, He really loves you. And always to take it as an honor to put into practice what God has told you to do. Amen. Whenever we come into the presence of God, because the Lord speaks to us, and because He's ready to give us some things, that means that our only responsibility, the Bible is asking us to listen and hear. So the same way, even the Priests have their own responsibilities. It is to sit in what we call the council of the Lord. It is to sit in the council of the Lord. It takes time. It takes commitment. In the word. In prayer. And in every way that the Holy Spirit leads us. To sit in the council of the Lord. And that is where the Lord gives you your word. And the Lord, the, the priest hears it. And then he brings it unto the congregation. It means that he hears and brings it. And he also pushes it on such that the congregation can hear and gets hold of it and puts it in practice. You will find the counsel of the Lord in Jeremiah 23 and I think verse 22. He talks about the counsel of the Lord. There are some prophets who are prophesying and they were prophesying deceit. And there was a counsel that God gave them that is 23-22 Jeremiah. This is what he has said. And But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. So now you know that there is what we call the counsel of the Lord. That is where we understood that we understand what God requires us to put into practice. So in all our areas and arenas of life that we go through, there is always the counsel and the will of God. There is always the voice of God in that particular time. So that is now the responsibility of the priest to sit in the council of the Lord to know and not only to sit there and if the priest does not sit there in the council of the Lord it means it's danger unto the congregation. And what I'm talking about is biblical. 
say for example first kings 22 25 you read there it talks about prophet mikaya he talks while actually your season akab wafira that is the season when akab died ah we bigambe byobunabi and he gave words of prophecy na kulaka waji yabije and it gives you the source of those prophecies yali atu demo kanso ya mukama ba mukutesa kwa mukama he was seated in the council of the lord kama na mulaka byonne byali bigendo kubera wero okutuka kwa akab and the Lord showed him what was going to happen even unto Ahab. And in the same way, this prophet brought them up and prophesied them. And the same way they came to pass. So that is what we call the counsel of the Lord. I have just passed that side for a reason because of what we are going to be seeing may our lord be glorified so the counsel of the lord is such an important thing and the lord expects us that if he speaks to us that we take what he has spoken to us and we put it into practice and if we do not put it into practice there is a very big catastrophe and there is always is a harvest that is not good. Whenever we disobey what God has told us, let me take you at least in the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and then I will start, I think, from verse 24. This is what the Bible says. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no one has regarded that have disordained my counsel and you would have none of my proof. And I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm, and your destruction comes like a wild wind. When distress and anguish comes upon you, have you heard what the Lord is saying? If we do not pay attention, if we do not regard His word, if we do not put into practice what He has spoken to us, there is harvest here that is not a good harvest. We started by saying that once we come into the presence of God, our work is for us to put our ears to be attentive. That it's better than giving a sacrifice of fools. Meaning that the most important act for you to do is rather you first hear than to rush to do. Then Meaning that these things have instructions and guidelines that do this after you do this, do this before you do this, meaning that I have to listen and I do what, not as I want, but as the Lord wills. So even as this week has been going on, a lot that has been brought to us by the Lord, and the Lord has pointed among us many things, but sometimes we leave some of those things here, and we said, yeah, the speaker spoke, and he left and he went. Let me wait for so and so to come. And the point is not who has spoken, but the point is who has spoken. Oh, the most important thing is what has the Lord enabled him to do for you? Because these issues of serving the Lord, if the Lord wants to you to hear something, he will let you hear it. And the Lord can use anything Oba asobola okuyiganya 
donkey. If the Lord can use a donkey and he makes us to speak Kakati, what ambulana sang and dogo and dogo in a yogera. And for you, a person who walks, you find a donkey and a donkey. Chikulaga, so look for the searching to show now. It shows that the Lord can use anything. Kato Jagama and Dogo, your cane coco, Jagama and Mondagano, Cadene coco. So you may say that the donkey was in the Old Testament. Old Testament, if can use even a cane or yeah, a you get a Simon Peter quitted a monk in the New Testament when he talked to Simon Peter through crawling. So if we have opened ourselves, we can hear and we put into practice. And if we don't put into practice, there is some anguish the Bible says. So I pray in the name of the Lord that the Lord will grant us the grace to pay attention that always whenever he speaks to us, we shall be alert that we take what he has told us. Because we always yearn for the Lord to speak to us. And yet we do not love to put into practice what he has told us. So imagine you have someone who yearns to hear your words, but whenever you tell them something, they do not do what you've told them to do. So let me just say this. He has said that always pay your heart to instruction. instruction. He has not said that always pray a lot. He has not said any other thing that you should always do much. But to some of us, what we love doing most is to speak many words to him because we think that when we speak many words, we shall convince him. That is not right. But hearing and obeying is very important. I will join and wind up all of them. And we shall go to our main place. When we go back to our scripture, at look at it more. Hosea 6. This is what he has said. This is what he has said. Ye ya tagula era alituonya. Ye ya fumita era alitu alitu nyiga. Ena kubiri ngazi seo alitu lamia. Alitu golokosa kuluna kolokusato. Nafe tulibabalamo mumasoge. Era tumanye tunyikire okumanya mukama. Okufuluma kwe Nga. Okay, can come out. Come out favors with. Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Mm. Come and let us return to the Lord. For he has stoned, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will rise us up. Um, when, not only the beyond, the child, the watch, you know. when I considered this scripture it showed me the speaking of God when he was speaking to someone say he was speaking to a nation but this time his voice is not a voice that is heard with your canon but it is upon a situation when you read in the Bible, you will find that many scriptures show us that God can use a situation to speak. God can always use a situation to speak to us. Even sometimes when we wonder that how does the Lord speak, this is one of the ways in which the Lord speaks. And if we have open minds, 
we can understand that this thing has happened because the Lord is telling me something. There is something that the Lord is saying. Could be even if I, before I go far, it could be a situation that happens and I grumble. But could be what I would have done first would be a question unto the Lord that why has this thing happened? Because it could be the voice of the Lord. So when you look at this scripture, the Lord is speaking to Israel. I'll, I'll show you these different ways. So, Hosea says that the Lord has stricken us it is a symbol of the different situations that happened to Israel but were not good situations. But when the Lord was seeking for them to return to him when the Lord was drawing his net when he is trying to seek for their attention that he may draw back them to himself. Because it's the Lord who can use all different situations if he wants to speak to us. That is, if he wants us to hear something. So here he's also speaking to his own people and many things had happened to them. So it is it was like Hosea was giving them a that People, do you know whatever that has happened to us, the answer and solution is for us to go and return to the Lord. This that you see that has happened to us, they have a certain source and cause. And the Lord knows about them. He's the one that has torn us. He's the one that has stricken us. He's the one that is tearing us apart. But he does not tear us up without any reason. There is something that the Lord is trying to tell us. And that is why he has torn us apart. So let us return to him. These things that have torn us apart will leave. Because his intention is not to just tear us. But to show us where the problem is when we, put it right. when we put right what had torn us apart will depart. I imagine when Hosea had just finished talking with these people and then the prayer leader says now it is time for spiritual warfare that we may break down these demons that have brought and caused such and such a situation. These are not demons my dear friends. It is the Lord that has permitted it to come but when the Lord is seeking for the attention of man, let me take you a little to Amos 4.6 Amos 4.6 The Lord speaks to his own people people using science. And he's trying to tell them something but they are not listening. He did many things. He made them to hunger. He made them to have famine. And there was no rain. And their fields were stricken and you winded up saying that I did all this but you refused to return unto me. It means that in that way the Lord was speaking to He surrounded them all sides, all ways but he, they refused to change. So here there is a counsel that is given to us that Hosea gives us that many things that had happened when 
when there was being torn apart, apart, there was shame. And people had turned and they had left the Lord. And they were worshipping other gods. And you let the Lord had say, had say that I am a Lord who has envy and never have any other gods besides me. So the Lord permitted different different things to befall them. But what his own intention was that they may return to but him to return to his presence. That they may restore that relationship between them and him. That they may rebuild that relationship but again. That they may put right what had gone wrong. Meaning that they had to focus on the things that had gone wrong. But the whole issue was about their relationship with God. And the whole nation had become a doubt And they had forsaken him. And the Lord brought out a voice. Because the Bible has said that he sends forth his word and he heals them. And the Lord sent this word through this prophet. And because the Lord is massive, this same voice has come back to us in such a time as this. So, okay, let me ask you a question. Where you are in your place, do you see any clear Do you see any shame within your life? It means that there is something the Lord is pointing Waliwa out to. Chagamba. Meaning that the Lord is saying Akamba something. Abaya abaya. He's saying that oh my dear people, no this is the time for you to return to me. Mochukile. Please return to me. Ona Here he has Yatu told them yuza. that he has torn us apart. Akula akula. He has tear us apart. He himself will return Meaning that even if they have been a perversion away from God, but if we return, they are still hope. Because the hands of the Lord are wide open to welcome us again. If we can make a decision and restore the relationship that we build a relationship between us and God. Here, the Lord knows this very well. That the more we are from away from His presence, we have no ability whatsoever to fulfill what he wants us to do. I would have compared the presence of the Lord as you see water unto the fish. Fish is powerful, very potential and speed a while in water. But if you dare take it away from it, it will not take it any little time that it will be done. It cannot walk it can always open its when mouth when it's looking out for bread when it's looking out for life but when it does not happen and if you quickly take it back to work, it regains so that is the presence of the Lord unto our lives the more we do this divert from him. It is us that cause pain to ourselves. That is the most painful thing yet we do not understand. It is us that get more pain because we suffer because we have entered into a place where we cannot see, we cannot hear. Remember we have an enemy that is chasing us. So we are in a very dangerous arena because we have no refuge. We have no provision. And the grace of God is not upon our lives. Why? Because whenever you are away from the presence of the Lord. It is like you are telling the Lord that 
put your restraints on Mbere me we, we that I may be outside there such that whatever comes will attack me. Because when we obey the Lord he puts a hedge around us that the, that the evil that would have befallen us that it cannot befall us. What I'm speaking about, you'll find it in the book of Job. The devil himself testifies in Job and to God when they were conversing. And the devil tells the Lord, don't you see that you have put a hedge around that man? In, in other words, he was telling the Lord that now where can I pass to attack? And the devil told the God that take away that hedge around him. But when you read about this man, the Bible says that he always hated sin. And his life was always in the presence of God. And the Bible says that it always took heed of the word of God. So those acts that he used to do, little did he know that it was putting and building a hedge around his life. So when he does not do them, in other words, he's breaking the fence. In that way, the enemy comes easily to strike. So in the same way that happened to this when they drifted away from God and the hedge was broken and they had no ability to do the will of God and the enemy had access upon them. So many things came to them. So they had to go back and build their relationship between them and God. This is what I'm trying to say. In the presence of the Lord, that is when we understand how far we have drifted away from Him. And that's when we understand our official duties before God. Even in our conference tomorrow as we talk about the kings and also on the sides of the women in the same issue positioning the positioning being in the right place where we are supposed to be. It is very difficult for you to be in the right position unless you discover yourself in the presence of God. Because that's where everything else originates from. In the presence of God, that's when we understand the counsel of the Lord. And what is his opinion among his different things? What is his opinion about our family? What is his opinion about our job? Yeah, and what is God's opinion be, uh, about my relationship with people? Oh, let me say between a woman and a man. Oh, let me say between a husband and a wife. Oh, let me say between a brother and a brother. You know, you know, all these we look at them. We understand them. The more we draw near to God in His presence, the, through different channels, when we have opened ourselves to His word to speak to us, when we have opened ourselves through prayer, in every way, every channel that the Holy Spirit us, He is able, able, able to. Make us right. And we go back and understand our position in God. That one is found in the presence of the Lord. Just as I've said, that a fish, for it to fulfill its purpose, and also to function the way God prepared it and created it. It is the water. Without the water, you will find it and say this thing is powerless. Yet the only issue is you took it away from no the operating area and put it in the, in the atmosphere. And all, maybe you put it on the ground. Because of the 
because of a wrong environment. Kakati enkola ya chebe chuka mu olwokubanga ngeri George Tadem simwe chikolera. Mukubera kwa mukama. In the presence of the Lord. Tutegera embala ya katonda. We understand the character of God. The character, the nature, the attitude, the perception. Tutegere ngeri katonda jala ba mwebi tunengeri ye nengeri jakola mwebi ne tutandika na fukola nga tukoberera ye and then we start moving in the same way that it does kati wate we yatutonda so that is how we created us ngachimanyi nebu abuyiza no we very well that even if it's authority tujja kuye we get that authority from Kuyekwe him kuye kwetu yigira and it is from him that we learn chovola abuli chimuche tulinokola wano kunsi that is why you see that whatever we have to do here on earth we start take do kubanga kwetu nulira we ought to be putting our focus on christ kuba yali na faces zone za abuli chintu because christ has all faces of everything njogere chi kugambe chi and what can i say ngambe bufumbo can i say marriage be faces otano ephesians 5 abili musatu abili munya abili mutano kukawa for downwards it talks about the responsibility of a woman and a man and to the husband it will tell yakala nga muchala wo that love your wife kati njakala kadaka wansi and i love what goes on nga kristo just as christ olaba jamale rana akusindika you see where he winds up pointing at kugamba goto manyi kwagala it's like he's telling you that you do not know how to love na yewo no tunulira kristo ngabo ayakala but the moment you see how christ loves ya kuiko kwagala muchala wo then you learn how to love your wife o muchala bamugamba chi i want to they tell a wife bamugamba bugovu if the wife is told to obey kakana submission na yebyo nawo bitunulira and when you look at everything ere songa ku Konisa ngeri jeri no kugondera mu Kristo. At the same time it points us how the church ought to obey Christ. Kati Kristo atuberera center buli muchi buli muchi into. So Christ becomes the centerpiece of everything. Ebiye bintu bya tudage nnyo bya tugenda okogera ko chemanyi ngaba akabaka mu nyumba. I know that there are some things that are so essential that we are going to speak about as kings in the house. Ngo buvunanyizibwa. Just like our responsibility. Ojati sanganga katonda wa buvunanyizibwa nnyo. You will find that the Lord is so much responsible. Na kati achakola emirimu ya chaji kola. Even at this time he's still working and Era Yesu ya julira na kama no kutusa ka kano chitanga akola. And it's Jesus who is fine and said up to now my father is working. Kakati wetu ogera ku kola na kuonga kuo so even when we just talk about even working Christ ajakula ge chifana nye chitufu Christ will show you the right example kati zabaddo mugaya avu atafa yo and to me who has been thoughtful and lazy when am to nulira ne mulaba was i focus on to jesus and the gere ndo woza ye kukola and i understand his mindset about work ya kuzukuka kole i'll wake up and start doing wanga ngambe mutimo sewe chisoka because he has said in first timothy tano nyili munano kukawansi uh, five down one he talks about a person who does not care about his house that that person is worse than the unbeliever and he has denied the faith there you will wake up and he is the same one that tells you that whoever will not work kati amunja kutegera endo woza ye then i will understand his mind ngandi ruddawa and when but when i where will i be when i'm sitting at this ndi kuchigambo che when i'm in this mukusaba in prayer endo woza ne kwata ne tegera ya katonde ya kuyingira obulambo wange i understand the perception the mindset and what god wants me to do in my life na golokoka and then i will also rise ne up ntambula nganjole kecho kristo chayagala and i will walk manifesting what the lord wants me to Molinye do Yesu tukufu mwana katonda omulamu in the name of our lord jesus christ yako gera bwenti this is how i will say era kabobe bufumba waka that even if it is marriage yako gera bwenti this is what i will say waba mwami waka if it is the husband at home tosobola tosobola kuba mwami wa muchala wo mulunji you cannot be a good husband and your wife ngatoli muchala wa kristo mulunji when you are not a good wife to christ isaya atano munya olunyirwa kutano 
Isaiah 54 verse 5. I said, Israel, your creator is your husband. You cannot be a good husband at home. And you've not been a good wife unto the husband, Jesus, because Jesus is our husband. Even the hand to the wife, let me bring it to you. You will not be a good submissive wife unto your wife, husband of your earthly husband. Unless you learn how to be submissive unto your husband, Jesus. Because that all submissiveness, that obedience will be easier to you when it comes to the husband. Because you will have the mindset of Christ in that issue. So we have a debt that to return unto the Lord. Because the more we obey, it gives us the authority and the priority to overcome all the disobedience that is around us. And that is how the Bible has taught us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 6. Let us go there. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 chapter 10 verse 5 verse 5. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts his soul. Sorry, I'm calling it Soka. Okay. First Corinthians 10. No, sorry. Second. I'm calling it Soka. Kumi Mokaga. Second Corinthians 10. Era ngatwete se te se. Okuwala ne guanga kubuta gonda wona okugonda kwa mwe bwekuli tu kirida. Second Corinthians ten six saying and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Woluganda toka wuli dako. Mungeri nyang. In other words, O mamio ya ne fujo. That husband is so much a wise. He does not hearken unto you. He has become a problem unto you. He has become a stone in the street. He has become a thorn. Alas, 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 alas. Here is the Lord is like the Lord is saying that just increase on your obedience. In the kind of wisdom, it seems that it is But it is the Lord who knows how he makes sense out of his things. It means that whenever you see disobedience, it is like disobedience is a profession to us that we also are disobedient. That when we see a lot of disobedience, for us, let us increase on the gear of obedience. According to the heavens, it gives us the authority that we put down and cast down all the disobedience. Where will shall we find all that? Unless if we surrender so much to be in the presence of God. We serve the Lord with the unintentioned brethren. And the Lord intends to do whatever he does. This is what the Lord says in his word. When you read Matthew 6, I think it is what we call the Lord's Prayer. Me, I don't call it the Lord's Prayer. I know the Lord was teaching us how to pray. But, but that prayer is packed with what God wants. Because the disciples told Jesus 
teach us how to pray. So Jesus answers them in the way that they are supposed to pray. Not just a way of reciting the words. Even, even if we recite them, they have no problem because it's the word of the Lord. But at least it is more than just reciting. But I want to pick on a few points from there. He has said that your will be done on earth. Okay, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth, just as it's done in heaven. I want to pick on that part as I wind up. Or that part of your will be done on earth. Because the Lord is a, an intentional God. You know very well that he created Adam and placed him on earth with his purposes. That he, God will be God in heaven. Extension is what? But when Adam would be here on earth with the extension of the kingdom of God. But when, he, when God is the God in heaven, but at the same time is the God on earth, but through Adam. Meaning that he created Adam with an intention or with a system that all authorities authority and ability was to originate from God. And it was originating from the presence of God. And in his presence, Adam would hear. He would make sure that everything is going on well. And you could not call the leopard a lion. That even if you bring, you bring it back after 300 years, he can tell you that that one is called a leopard. And he differentiated many different kinds of species. That is wisdom of the highest order. We fail to an extent that even when you go and read and you've decided to read about the animal kingdom, you will find a line or you specialize in a certain line thinking that you are studying a lot yet it is very little. But the world will confirm you and graduate you as a professor. Now what would we call Adam? So what I'm talking about is that special ability and that knowledge and wisdom that God had given you. And you also know that that is impossible in the kernel wisdom. Even when I bring around 500 types of things. And I tell you that name them, at least maybe if you can manage to name them, and I go on picking on them randomly and I tell you please recall their names you will. you will see that you will not be able to remember their so names so God knew it very well that that's where Adam would be functional so, now, so here there is something that the Lord is telling us that your kingdom come and that was the first council, original council of the Lord. And that the kingdom of God will come. And he gave the responsibility to man. But you all know very well what happened that I will not go into details. But unto the Lord, he remains with the same heart. And then he brings us Jesus. And he's restoring the same thing. That when you're praying, says this, your kingdom come. The kingdom is to do with the dominion. And for you to have dominion, it takes, it takes personal responsibility to bring about this dominion to come. Dominion is a 
How can I explain it? Dominion according to God it gives us a right to rule. And according to God, he wants us to have dominion in three areas. In the area of your spirit, in the area of your soul, and also in the area of your body. And if you can rule in those areas, it's it requires you still to exercise what you call influence in those areas. And if you can have influence in those areas, then you can be able to make an impact. The impact comes after the influence. Now, there is a personal responsibility that God is calling us to. I repeat, personal responsibility. Where does it start from? Matthew 22. Matayo abiri mo biri. Verse 37. There is something that the Lord is telling us. Babu za Yesu. They ask Jesus according to what happens to about hey, the Lord. That what should we do? Abanu kulana ye. Two seven? Yes. You can read. Matthew 22. 22. 37. 22, 37. To 39. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Thank you. Agambi what? Na ye na amugamanti. Yagala nga mukama katonda wo. No mutima koko na. No bulambo wo na. Mulidize bigambo bino. Na ye na amugamanti. Yagala nga mukama katonda wo. Echi soka na chi. No mutima koko na. That you love the Lord your God. First of all with what? With all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. That love your as you love yourself. Here we find a responsibility that the initial responsibility what Hosea talked about that let us return unto the Lord. He is returning them to loving their God. With what? With the three parts that I've told you. With your heart. With all your soul. When we talk about all your soul, we talk about all your life. And with all your might and all your mind. If our love to God is on that level, it means that the Lord is ruling and reigning on all our areas of life. When He's ruling and reigning in all the areas of life, His ability will be manifested through us and to other people. And then He told Him the second one that you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. In other words, it starts with you. First love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So can I love you when I don't love myself? So can I love you when I don't love myself? So can I love you when I don't love myself? And then I have that self-worth, Moses. So I have to first go back in the presence of God to know that he loves me, cares about me, and I restore my self-esteem. It means that among the things that we've been speaking, that as we return, as we walk, as we love the Lord, with all our heart, with all our minds, with all our might, and whatever we do, and we do it with the intention of loving the Lord, 
It means that we shall reach a level that we shall be mindful of these things. How much do you care about your growth? About the growth? The growth, development, nurturing, and catering for your spirit man. How that one goes back also to your soul and your body. Because both, uh, all those three areas ought to be growing and be redeemed. What you leave behind is what the devil will use to strike you. So we must have influence in all those three areas. It takes personal responsibility. How much have you cared about those areas? Because if we put attention unto them as I said, our lives will not remain the same. You will be a right woman, a right wife that the Lord sees in Israel. Oh, you will be a king that the Lord expects to be in his image. And you will be able to impact, to influence and impact your generation. How is my responsibility? Am I taking responsibility for my faith? For my love? Being joyful and faithful in my service to the Lord. How faithful or oh, how, how responsible I am pertaining to the reading of scriptures, the intake of God's word. Because the Bible says the entrance of your word brings light and understanding to the simple. My responsibility. How responsible I am. And that is the question I'm posing to every one of us. How much responsibility have we taken? In being persistent to pursue the Lord. Because that's where the secret is. Once we are aligned right, things will work out by the grace of God. Lord, I pray that he will return us and restore us and renew us in those areas where we've been lacking. Wherever we have been lacking, may the Lord draw us and return us. We have spoken about the secret of being in the presence of the Lord. What time do you always redeem? As we were on the program, we spoke and said that some of us always take a lot of time in those indoor games. But that one builds nothing in our spirits. And when a hard situation comes, and if your wife tells you that you know what has happened, they are taking us and we are in a bad situation. It is very easy for you to fall under the bed. But unto another one whose roots are that person will have a word for a season and that word will create some thing. So then event that way your life will be a different life. May the Lord have mercy upon us and help us that we take responsibility and care about our lives. According to the word of God. That we 
that we may perceive Christ just as the word of God speaks. That he has all faces. That shows us and guides us through the different arenas of life. May the Lord bless you so much. I believe that our lives are not going to remain the same in the name of Jesus. As we are going to pray, I'm going to give in our lives in the presence of God. I will ask us that we offer our offering of this particular time. And to our people that are just listening on the different social media platforms, you can give in. There are very many ways for you to offer in. Maybe Maybe you just refuse. But the Lord has given us many opportunities through which we can give our offering. And our mobile money numbers are two. With your pen you can write them down. For MTN you can send your money Eri noti musanvu munana tano noti tano munana tano nya noti 0785058540 kanji demo kusemba yo noti musanvu munana tano noti tano munana tano nya noti 0785058540 Atea Airtel Nevera. And that one of Airtel is. Noti Musanvu, Noti Mukaga. Tano Nya Noti. E Mun Noti Bidi. 0706-540-102. Njidamo Kusembayo. Noti Musanvu, Noti Mukaga. Tano Nya Noti. E Mun Noti Bidi. 0706-540-102. 102. And our merchant code that of MTN is Satu e mutano Munana e mu Munana Eda Wonyigawali or Dioringa Eva star e mumukaka tano star Satu hash no go bedi dakawa manga. Our MTN merchant code is three one five eight one eight. For you to get the merchant code, it's star one six five star three hash. Yeah, MTN. That is MTN. Atea Airtel. And that of Airtel. For you to get the for you to, the merchant code of Airtel is M M Mokaga Bidi M Monana Tano. 1162185. Era Monana Tano, Star, Mwenda Hash, Nonyiga, yes. For you to get with the prompt of merchant code, you'll have to press Star 185, Star 9 Hash. Kale Katweba Zekatondo, which we were to have a gloomy Zerinia, yo. Where to to Labi Tata to Saba, Molinia, yes, to Kuvomana Katondo Mulam. Nti mukama kusubiza mchigambo cho No gamba wa China kuziwa Echisukundi duwe chomo yika Mukama chetu sabile ili ya Vantu wonga vale tamo nyumba yo Buli omuka alabo mkisa Eyo yo na jiva weda yo Nabali mchifochi no muiza Uli chintu chona Eda tata tusaba Balabi so mkisa mili mjawe Buli chibana kwa tanga kochi labo mkisa Obulunji omu kama vede kulambu awe Obukumbu vede kulambu awe Echi sacho no obulunji wo Tebide menga bako vele na kuzabezo nezo ula mwabu awe Edata atatukiriza Tuwele duwa mkisa chetufude tuleta monyomba yo Echi chibwa na matendo vikudile Ngo yonge rogazi ya nsalo salo zafe Weba linyomu yinza avu lichintucho na Mkristo yesu metusavide No kweba za Amen Kansawe worship team aje Mi request the worship team to come And they take us into Prayer. Hi, I'm a 
proud student of Steva Christian High School, a school of difference. It is a day and boarding school offering both arts and sciences. We have a well-stocked library, a well-equipped science laboratory, and computer classes. We boost talents. Kugenda Kolele Mukama Yesu Wana Pita Nangena Itawa Yesu Wana Pita
Tata mulinjeri Chita fe mulinjeri Ya yese tukufo mwana katondo mulamo Laba ye guvero mulamo Wenda kuzona Tu wakalo kuru mizeri nyali ono kwebaza Na kawukesu kuna kuru walele na netuntu Uruwebye chisavi uko se mase katika fe Goyo kete no gamu chikambo chosebo Jotu me chikambo chomo kama wange no baonya Jatu fatu jajoli Uruwebye bietu ulite Mokase la kano Ngatufu kumula Yemi timaja femo masoko Kubanga waliwe chintu e chinja Choko la mase katika fe Wali woku tesa ako Tu anukula Tu anukula mo kama wange Ndobo zeri Twitter Kuluo kusi wobu jia Toka mamu kama Wono Twitter Nafe tunaitaba Wono Twitter Nafe tunaitaba Jatu vatu kuchukiro muisa Muli chitu chona Gato da joli Habate wa kufako Muli nyere setu kufo mwana Kato no mlamo No mkono kukwe chisa Otu walu lotu ese mbeleze Tutenge do muisa Muli chitu chona Ndiye chitu kilo chafe kubela woko Jatu vatu dukila joli Muli nyere ya yesu etu kufo Mwana kato no mlamo Kufanga tuchimanyi Wavulo kuzi no kubelu wakwa fe Mili mkwe weka kwa mweza uli chintu chona Jeva nkwe gairila Tata jude chisa no kusasila Munga hasaba Otu sika nefena Tisika na mungande wangoyo Sika na mwanyina zoyo Munga sela kafana weka Tio mweza uli chintu chona Oku itila mchigambo cho Oku itila mwebio yongete na fimu kama wange Nkwe gairila Tuyambo kwe kubato chimitima Oku chukila kawa 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 Kwa nge dobozi Litu ita kuroku zibobuja Dobozi Zidi tuita Woko mamu chifocha fe Woko mamu chifocha fe nga batata Woko mamu chifocha fe nga bami Woko mamu chifocha fe nga bana Woko mamu chifocha fe mu yiza Buli chitu chona Tumate tuwa sese tuka Nga tuwale kendo noza katonda Nga tetumanyi ndo waza ya katonda Nga tetumanyi kutekera kwa katonda Kusongeze nja ulezo mulamo Nga yetu anu kulomu nango kutuita Woko mamu joli Muli njeri ya yesu eto kofu Omana katono mlamo Kose ya nakama mchika mocho Mote tujeri mokama Ya tutakunde takunde Na ya natuonya Mokama tukuchukira Winje vise vivera omulamo wafe Tutakutua Tuyuzi tuwa mokama wange Winje vitutuseko Nama kwa manja katufumise Tutamuli na musuavu Evi tutata viefude Chifula nengo mwiza ulichitujona Na ya tutengede Ensonga ya kukufako Ensonga ya kukufako, ensonga ya kukufako nafe tumalirira wakuchuko kutajoli tumalirira kule kama kumokafa mabi tumalirira muli njeri yese tukufo mwana katono mlamo tuchukira kwa lino mlamo tuchukira kwe chintu kilo chafe tuchukira kwa mulo kozi wafe echi gambo chochi gambie mwono nye mokama muli oke mwere walamo mwamo sitano tano mokama wange jetu vatu kunonya mokasera kano nafe tuli oke tube Ravalamo, mungu yuzo nezo Ravalamo wafe Wakala kulaba kumoka Kwa mulamo gabu kukulu kuta Mungu yuzo nezo mulamo wafe Mulamo wafobu wa moyo Mulamo wafobu wa meme Ne mulamo wafobu wa mwili Wali wawe tuwebuka Monsonge sesa tuweze nja ulo Tuwela vienga tuwebuka Jetu vatu kowola Kwa jude chisano kusasira Ye kwa sawono kutuzo uja Otu tumite chikambo cho wikendo Wawe chikenderwa Nusaba katonda wange Give us a heart and a mind that you respond to your word positively in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Oh, is a new tata. Oh, is a new rosola. Emiti maja femi maliri fo kuchuka. Emiti maja femi maliri fo kugondera. Emiti maja femi maliri fo kulira. No kuteka mukole chocho tweta zo kuteka mukola. Ayo mu ayo mutukuvu. Unkwe kairira. Otuwele zechi sechi teka mukola. O kulira tuuli de. Ne tu akala kuteka mukola. Tu sabe chisa na man. Ebi fajoli o kuteka mukola. Ebi ebi tuuli de. Muli nyeri ayese tu kuvu. Oma na katondo mlamo Tetu wakala kumera baulise Bata teka mongkola Tetu wakala kumera baulise Bata teka mongkola Habale kawo mlesi Bata teka mongkola Afana no mtu Yera vya chifona nche munda viru amu Ne yera vila Tetu wakala kumera bakozi Habaulia netu teka mongkola 
Chashi na hatu fula benja ulo Mumulembe kuno kwe chama Mumulembe kuno kwa chama These are sisters my father Biro bie bilera bie bisera Ngotu ita Oku tuko miawo Otu ita Otu tuko miawo They are seasons of refreshment They are seasons of restoration Lord you respond Lord you respond As many this place Lord you respond Ngavami Tuko loko ka Mulio mutata Okubati asobo loku imirira Mchifo chichari loku imirira Pale nyari asa toko kumwa na katondo mulamo Ya rasha mama mama Rasha tara mama mama Ama sika maji tata Wabu suafu mungi Uloku mate tulimo bifobe tulino kuberamo Wali wawakaba Ama sika koka kamba Sengo musajyo ya kolo koka Na imira mchifo chari no kuimira Tetu andika bienga yetu mate tukaba Wali wama kaga yuzika Wali wama kaga shansuse Nge songa mkama Wami buta imira mchifo chawe Na machala buta imira mchifo chawe Kwe kaide katondo wejisa Muli njeri asa tukoma na katondo mlamu Envision as a king of glory Of the kind of position Where we are supposed to be In the name of Jesus Christ Son of the living God Tuko wechi kademo kama wange Tuko yo kutamuli na mbusuavu Tuko yo kutamuli na mbusuavu Tuko ye chiswalo Tuko yo kuwebuka Jotufa tukuchuki na katunda joli Omu izabuli chintu chona You are the solution For such a time as this king of glory Wecho kutamu chafe Wecho kutamu chafe kama 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 Wabele uo tutuwala Omu yo wamu kama Omu yo mtu kufo Tuku ate kumukono Wotu tamu zolu kendo Wetu lino kutamula Muli njeri ya yese tukufo Omu ana katondo mlamo Reposition as my father Aya shata rababa Remo shita rababa baba Leta rababa shita rababa baba Ofulo musatia jude chiti wachamo kama Lata rama mama ba Yende rebo shima mama mama Leta rababa baba Ama mutu awebu kamu kusaba Ama mutu awebu kamu binobi ya bubisela Bia femi okwe wa yone katona Ama mutu awebu kamu chikambo Tumatete tuchisoma Tumatete tulio Tumatete tuwebu kokwe kaicheka ni tao Na yetu sasi Na yetu sasine Tukoma wojoni Omu izabu ni chintu chona Ogolo mkono kwa kutale merelua Otukomye wonate Muli njeri ya yesu ya tukufu Omu anaka tono mnamu Nusabia chitange Otutonye seko na te Ekube yoku zibwa uja Ekube yoku simbibwa na te Mubifobi ya febi tufuwe tulino kusimbibwa Mwani njeri ya yeso tokufu Omu anakato ndomu lamo Batata wakolo koke Baimile mchifo chawe Ne kwanga Uganda lina terera Batata wakolo koke Baimile mchifo chawe makakawe Na makaka na terera Ya rasha mama mama Wabuwele zabu na terera Yere mosha mama mama Lata ramama shinda ramama Lokosa ya ramama mama Leta ramama shinda ramama Lekasa ya ramama mama Aba mima kolo koko mwisa mchifo Tuchona, baimile mchifocha febu chawe chobu funa njisi wanga waka wana Kuma kakawe, kuyote vienja ulo, ne kwanga lino lina chusiwa, na lio lina terera Toko eka hite kama 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 Tuyambo kutegele cheche tuli Tuyambo kumanye cheche tuli Tuchitegele Atena tuchitambuli lemo Muli njeri ya yeso tokofo Omu ana katondo mulamo Tumarabu mazibisera Kwa tutamanye cheche tuli na kubera Omu izabuli chitu chona Tuma tumazemu mazibisera Ila tumata tulina jetukenda Nye kwe kainite A vision as a king of glory Of the kind of people that we are supposed to be Of the kind of fathers Of the kind of husbands Of the kind of men Of the kind of women That we are supposed to be In the name of Jesus Christ The son of the living God Wabu sawa sumo kama wange saba Wabu sawa sumo kukutile mulambu afengo Wabu sawa sumo kukutile mulambu afengo Omu koku takalira Omu koku okuzibu wabuja Ekube yokuzibu wabuja Kilize tutonyeko Muli njeri ya nisotu kufoma na katondo mulamo Ekube ya restoration La shata rababa Wabere wokuzibu wabuja Wabere wokuzibu wabuja Wabere wokuzibu wabuja Wabere wokuzibu wabuja Wabere omu kama wange Okuji wa mchifecho kuswara Tutuari wa mchifecho chitiwa Muli njeri ya nisotu kufoma Omu anakatondo Tondo mlamo 
no sabie ono je bigere bya fe mu bito sito somu yisa buli chitu chonda no biteka kulwaze kirize chiti wacho mukama wange okula bisiwa kula mu bafe muri nyeri ayo seto kovo omwana katondo mulamo chino chemanye ntie chiti wacha kabaka chitula ku bantu be e chiti wacho china tutula ko gatuze yo mukifo cha fe wetu lido kutula mukama wange china la bisiwe chiti wacho era china dina ku muisa buli chitu chonda nsabie muri nyeri ayo seto kovo mara let there be a mighty repositioning in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mukama wange zikiriza, te watani komuli momuru njimbula mbafe, ero kenda kumaliriza. Mukama kolomuli mokwe chitiwa, mukama kolomuli mokwe chitiwa, mukama kolomuli mokwe chitiwa. Mumule me kwa febuno, okono ne senyo, ne chitiwa chokiriza, chila bisiwa ikaba kaba kaba kaba, tu ya mbebuli omu. Oko imida mo chifoche, chali no ko imida mo. Muli njeri ese tu kufama na katondo mla mo. Kuvange na kuzetu limombi. Omole me kuli kubi kukuju. E chichamu chichi tuali wange chitufu. Ate chitufu ne chitwali wange chicham. Tukwe kaira, tukwe kaira kaba 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 kaba. Oku waba kunji no kuvako. Oku tekera masiba plata kutuli wala. Oku tekero buli mbakwe kutuli okompi. Ne yetu kwe kaira. Mchache tino kusasira, watu walule, niko mazeze chisano kusasira, no kuakala, watu sembe za uoli, tuyambe kristo, oku manye chocho ya kala tubele, natala muna kuzine zoru vanyimezi semba yo, tuwale chiti wana matendo kaba 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 kaba, kubanga tewali ya kwenkana, nchimanyi, watani kwa mwini momoloji. Ero kenda kumaliza, uyo kenda noka mchigambo cho, timu kama li tukiriza, evyo nabe ya njoke rako, nsabia muli nyari ya mkama, tukirize evyo vyo na, miwa yoke rambulambu wa batu baru, naba batu uliza kumikutue jenja ulu, mulambu wa ule mosika na chechimu, muli nyari ya setu kufuma na katondo mulamu, tusaba, echi sacho kule sewa, okula visiwa, munsonga, munsonda zona, ezo mulamu wafe, naba tobu sabu chitange, nangila we chiti wacho, muli nyari ya mkama, Sato kuma na katondo mlamu, abato kule merua, nangu ya wabu wanguzi, abato kuwaba, nangi no kutamu lain, muli nyeri ya yosato kofo, amwa na katondo mlamu, eri ya maka, akawateka yukuma, muli nyeri ya mkama, tulangi na restoration, tulangi na restoration in minimo, tulangi na restoration in maka. Aya shata rababa Restoration langilina langilina Lata rababa bababa Oku zibu abuja Lata rashe mamama Rekasa ya ramama Tu yuza yuza Echile chobu suafu kulamu mafe Muli nye yese tukufoma na katondo mulamu Tu yuza yuzo bu suafu Arasha mamama Retara mamama Natara mamama Lekoshi mamama Chitange ndakira Muli nyali ya mkama Elie vikere vionda Evi vadevi emba liko kutere na mumoyo Muli nyali ya yeseto kofo Omwana wakatondo mulamu Let it say a be A real line man In the name of Jesus Christ Son of the living God Atwa uliteke jbiro Evi fana na weviti Uloku tuso uja Mukama tuwe wa yojoli Jango kolo muli mwoko kwe chiti Muli nyeri ya yeseto kofo Omwana katondo mlamo Tulangiro mulu njimo Tulangire chiti wacho Okumera okumera kumulambu wafe E chiti wacho chitule kumulambu wafe Tuleme sigara chechimo Na fetata Tunakoma kumulembe kwafe In the name of Jesus Christ Son of the living God Restore us my father To a place of dominion That we shall have influence And that we shall impact our generation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. To kweba zisa, to kweba zisa kwa mero mla mena kuzona. Otwa lechi wana matendo maseka te kafe. Yara shama mama mama, leta rama mama, risha tara mama mama. Kweba zwe kaba 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 ka. Kwe baza kuro vula mbozo vujia Kwe baza katondo wechisa Kwe baza kuro ekola gana zozo vujia nawe Kwe bazo muhisa vuli chitu chona Kwe bale kubango tu za vujia Kwe bale kubango tu walula No mkono kwa kwe chisa no kusasira Kwe bale kubango tu komia wo Kwe bale kubango tu komia wo mchifo Echo kusechi muna awe Kwe bale kubango tu komia wo mchifo Echo kusome chikambo Kwe bale kuro enyala nenyo tepia jo wereza Kwe bale kuro kumera wo kwa kumula mbo wafe Eri nyale tuko hulioka, neri bali guru misibwa, wakole bie chisano kusa asira, uwe mazime kabaka, kabaka, kabaka. Thank you Jesus, and thank you Lord.
In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen.